Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be going over a, a another game recreation. This time it's going to be <laughs> going through something that I okay this is this is kind of interesting. Uh, so I have okay my Wii broke but I still have a Wii U so I can still play Wii games and anyways I decided one day randomly that I'm gonna pick up this old Wii game that I hadn't never finished because I got frustrated because the controls were kind of janky right and it was uh Epic Mickey the first one I have never even attempted the second one because I didn't finish the first one but anyways I pick it up and literally that day I had no idea they announced that the remake was happening and I was like wait what I just randomly decide to pick up this game the day they announce a remake is going to happen. Uh, but anyways today's video is going to be a uh, it's kind of more of an inspired by than a direct copy but it's going to be kind of inspired by the shops in uh, Epic Mickey. So without further story times, let's jump right in. All right, let's kick this off as always with a demonstration. Let's go up here. Oh, hello. Welcome to my shop. What would you like to do today? Do you have a quest? Yeah, I'm like, oh, you can't think of anything. Okay, uh, then I'll buy. Okay. No, I don't have any money, so no point in that. Uh, let's go in here. Let's see. Do you have anything for me to do? Someone borrowed one of my books and has yet to return it. Could you be a deer and track it down? Yeah, sure, I found it. Okay, fine. Well, since there's only other one person on this map, let's go talk to them. Oh, you're looking for a book? Yeah, I have it, but I'm not quite done with it yet. Perhaps you can go fetch me some herbs while I finish. Sure, why not? Perfect. I need five. All right, well, seeing as there's only one other thing on this map, let's go get some herbs. One, two, three, four... Five, and while I'm here, might as well just get all of them, right? Okay, let's go back in. And let's check and make sure. Yep, mm -hmm. I have eight. Okay. Oh, hello. That's got the herbs. Yes, perfect. I'll take those. And here's your book. Oh, you even brought me extra. How sweet. Here, take this too. And I got some gold for that. Sweet. Okay, let's bring the book back. Oh, look. The herbs grew back. Let's just... Casually, you know, by the road. Then let's bring that uh, quest. Have you found it? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, I know. If you're ever in a pinch, come to me and I'll get you all healed up. Hello. You like to do a heal? All right. All right. We're all healed and ready to go. So let's go talk to this other person again. See what they have to say. Do they have something? Oh, yes, I do have. Let's sell my herbs. I have five herbs. Uh, so let's sell five of them. And I got money for it. Yay! Let's see what happens if I try to sell more herbs than I have. So I have one herb. Alright, I have one. So let's sell 25. Oh, I don't have that many. Uh, zero. And I should still, yep, I still have that item. All right. So let's dive in on how I did this. So starting with the herbs, it's just literally you click it, you change item, and then erase event. The erase event is what allows it to return each time you leave and come back. If you use the control self switch, it'll go away forever. Um, but let's see, let's look at this store first so you cannot walk up here this is purely for show uh hold on all right so this is kind of the vibe we're going for there's the background and then there's the foreground right and you can only walk in the foreground going left and right you can't interact with the back at all ideally you would want to like parallax this and everything i was lazy so i didn't so i just did it with sprites so it looks pretty barren and empty but this is kind of the vibe we're going for right 
So you walk in and you talk to them and you show the shop overlay picture, which is just this. I made this in GIMP and imported it in. You would have, uh, you could do it with uh, this being a separate image and having it appear, like have the counter and the foreground and then the background and then the character and you'd have to have three separate images and just have them appearing on different layers using different numbers. And that's how you could change it out and like use the same counter for everyone or something to make it easier. Uh, then you have three options. Buy, sell just brings up the buy, sell menu. Nothing special there. Um, that is really hard to edit without a mod. Like it's a big pain in the butt to even find mods to edit that. So yeah, that's just the same. Uh, then when you uh, do never mind, uh, you exit out of it it erases the picture uh, but when you hit quest uh, if the book quest is on it asks you if you found the book if not then uh it brings you down to this else and it's like it turns that switch on tells you what you need to do and then ends it right so if it is on and you have found it you hit yes if the party has it then you give it to them and it controls switches a if not, it's like, oh, you don't have it. When no, it just ends. So uh, what happens after that is you, she offers as thanks to heal you anytime you come by. And then it just switches to this. And since it's the control switch self A, it does that every time. Now let's do this guy. All right, you'll notice there's two events on this page. This one is uh, set below here, the player. And since the player can only walk on this front tile right here, it means they will hit this no matter what, and they, uh, if their player is facing left, it turns near on, which takes you from this page to this page. So it just basically makes the shopkeeper turn down. You could have a parallel event that, so you don't have to have different ones that's turned down. Um, but when you see them, it's the same thing for buy, sell. For this one, when quest, if it, the book is not on, then it says, uh, sorry, I can't think of anything for you to do right now. If it is on, like, oh, you're looking for a book, yada, yada, I have it. When you will do it, no, you're lost. It brings you back to the beginning. You have to go through all that again. Not ideal, but I was being lazy. Uh, when, uh, yes, you agree to go get the herbs. Perfect, I need five, and then brings you here. Uh, then got my herbs, do the same thing as the book. If the, I control it variable, I made a variable called herbs and I have it set to the number of the item, which is under game data. And then if it is greater than or equal to five, then it's great. You'll do it. You take, you change, uh, I subtracted the amount of herbs from the number of herbs. So I subtracted the variable amount from the item. And then I gives you the book. If it's greater than five, uh, then you get uh, if it's greater than five, then it subtracts the original five then, and then times the remainder amount by five, and that is the amount of gold. Each herb is worth five gold, basically. Right? And then, uh, since I changed that variable, you get that number of gold, and... Then hold on a second. I miss just you can't go into the negative, so that's fine. Uh, okay. Just gets rid of all the extra stuff. So you don't have any left over. That was a bug I didn't notice, but it's fixed now. And then it brings you to control self switch B, uh, which is got any more herbs, I'll pay extra. Yes. Um, oh, goody. I use label instead of loops because I'm weird. Um, this one gives you another option to back out of it. Uh, so when you do never mind, it literally is like shame. Ends it. Uh, when yes, um, you do the herbs equal the number of herbs? Looks like you have varial number, 137 herbs, herbs. 
how many would you like to sell? Then you can input it up to two digit number because that's how many you can sell at a time. I just didn't want to make it more complicated, but three digits. If sell equals greater than herbs, you don't have that many, hun. If uh, sell equals equal to or less than herbs, perfect. It changes. Uh, sell is the variable that's set there by the input number, and then it subtracts that from your total, and then it times it by five, because as I said, the herbs are worth five gold, and then it gives you that amount of gold. Then always nice doing business with you, and it ends. So that is the mouthful version. I don't think I heard a single word that has come out of my mouth this entire video. My brain has just been empty. So let me collect those herbs. Then I have to go talk to her. I hit the Z button. Hold on. Do, do, do. Here, let me show you actually why I'm here. I am hitting the up key. You cannot see it, but I am here. Don't know if you can hear that, but I'm mashing it. I'm not going up. Um, quest. Yeah, you plum borrowed your book. And I do that by making a blank tile set to uh, X. As in, you can't move here, and that's how I make it so the player can't go there. Hello, quest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, I'll do it. I got the herbs. And see, now all of them are gone. Okay. Then I bring this back. Do, do, do. Oops. Okay. And then I did that. And then uh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to show you. I have ten gold right now, right? All right. So. Let's sell eight. So that should be 40 gold. So now I should have 50 total. Yep. And that's all there is to this one. I feel like I was very clear and concise. Uh, I think. I don't know. As I said, I tuned myself out for that because I knew exactly what I was talking about. So my brain went... There, it's like uh, empty, no thought, just words. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I uh, thank you all so much for the video, and y'all seem to really like my previous video about plot where I just played Stardew Valley and rambled. So I'm thinking about starting up a monthly devlog where I kind of talk about my game and my progress and various like game making stuff. Uh, so I'm not gonna do this month just because. I haven't really made any major progress other than mapping in my game, uh, but that'll definitely be starting up next month, if I remember. Here's to hoping. So y'all have that to look forward to, but for now, I hope y'all enjoyed the video and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye! <laughs>